Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 5253 series. The exact model is a P5WE6. But in this video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the, the mechanical drive on this one to a solid state drive. As we know the solid state drives are much much faster than mechanical drives so it will be a humongous uh, improvement on performance and on speeding up your laptop. Because of the bottleneck on these uh, machines are on these laptops are the mechanical hard drive that they have a limit of read and write. So uh, with the SSD drive, that limit increases by a lot. So there will be no more bottleneck. And I'm gonna show you on step by step how to do it. First thing first, you need your SSD hard drive. I would recommend you guys to grab the any crucial brand uh, SSD drive or Samsung brand. Do not get any of these other ones, which is Adata or Adata. Don't get any of the Kingstons. I do not recommend them because they will not last. Uh, durability on these ones are really trashy. They don't last long time. Even the PNY ones sometimes are good, sometimes depending the models. I highly recommend you guys to go with a Crucial or with a Samsung brand. Yeah, the Samsung brands are much, a little bit expensive, but they are much durable. And the second best one is the Crucial brand and the rest are the low quality. In this case, a client only brought me an, uh, its own uh, solid stage drive, which is this one. This is a 240 gig SSD, 2.5 inch uh, Adata or Adata. So we're going to go with what client brings in. We don't argue. So yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how to put this one in, how to swipe the places with the other mechanical drive that you have. Also remember, once you upgrade the hard drive on your laptop to an SSD drive, once you power on, there will be no media. So it's going to give you a logo, there's no boot or there's no media to boot from. That means the hard drive is, uh, there's nothing inside here, there's, it's all empty formatted. So you need to follow my other video that I made a video on how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. So once you create your Windows 10 USB boot drive ready to go, then you can swipe the hard drive and simply plug this one in here and boot it up from here. And I'm, I'm going to make a video on how to install the Windows, how to boot it up from this, uh, for this laptop. So check that video link too if you need to know how to install it. But if you know how to install Windows, then skip this part. All right, to get it started, first you need to power off the laptop completely. You do not need to remove the battery at all, it's absolutely not necessary. If you're paranoid and you want to remove it, just pull this trigger back and slide this one towards the right side and remove the battery. But honestly, absolutely not necessary. You need a screwdriver set. I'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they are one of the best screwdrivers out there. You're going to be using a Phillips number one from here. I love this screwdriver set because they are made out of the S2 class steel, they are really tough and steel and they will last you so many openings. Alright, we're going to remove this screw and this one right here because this holds the cover on the service cover down here. So you're going to go ahead and remove them. The screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them. So remove these two screws. Now you want to grab a flat head screw. Um, and this one is not flathead but does the job still. Just take it right in there and pull it out really hard, as hard as you can from this side up and it's gonna pop open the cover. Down here the hard drive is right over here and it's been held down by one screw. Remove this screw right here and once you remove the screw all you need to do is slide the hard drive towards the left side. If, if it doesn't come and if it breaks this paper don't worry, don't panic. All you need to do is to push it from here to the side gently, even a little bit up from here, a little bit from there, and it will just come loose. So I usually hold it like that and push it from here. All right. And then bring it. But sometimes even you pull, you can rip this one apart just like that. So it's not really hard. Once you remove the hard drive, you have to keep a uh, focus on the orientation of the pins in here. This is a... Uh, 320 gig hard drive. So what we want to do here, we have it in the same position, the SSD, make sure the orientation of the SATA connector and the power is in the same place. We do need this caddy to hold the hard drive in place. The caddy is being held down by four screws. 
two on each side so we're going to remove this screw and we're going to remove the caddy and put it on the new hard drive again if you like my videos and my video helped you guys out and you want to support the channel you can simply click that like button and think about subscribing i really appreciate it it will be a great tremendous help and support to the channel All right, once you remove the hard drive, put the hard drive to one side, bring the another the new one, the SSD, put it on top, align the screw holes on the side, and put the four screws on it. And there we go. Now we have the hard drive in there. All you need to do is put it in an offset position and then it slide it all the way towards the jack and it should click in just bring it and make sure the connect contacts right there it goes all the way screw holes match put the single screw right on the front end here to hold the caddy in place and the two other screws they're still going to go here from the outside bring the bottom cover put the bottom end first here the bottom side the front end of the laptop and then the rest just squeeze the sides first and then the long place here on the front and the last thing would be to just grab the screws and just put them on top all right guys i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own replacement for the hard drive to an ssd hard drive and if you want to know how to boot up from the usb boot stick for windows install it watch the link in my video description so I made a video how to install the windows for those people that don't know how to do it as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video